Hello there, everybody. You may not recognize me, but it is, in fact, me, Waddles. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 35. Uh, that was a rhyme, kind of. <laughs> I broke it. I, I broke it. So uh, today, 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 I'm, I'm looking different. Back by Airvolt, shout out. And um, it, it's time. It is time that we take on the Ender Dragon. Yes, uh, the big day. We are going to kill the dragon today, and in the nicest way possible. Um, the dragon just has to go out of the world because it's in the way of the things that we want to do. So last episode, we went ahead and went over to um, the stronghold. We found it, we went through it, and it, it was pretty fun. It was pretty crazy in terms of luck. And like I said, today we're going back to the stronghold. Now I need to go over a little checklist first here for you guys. What should you be taking with you to the stronghold or, or really to the end? Well, you definitely want your bow and arrow, a sword, uh, hopefully a good one, maybe a pumpkin helmet, your armor, some building blocks, water, food, maybe some torches. So your basic supplies. So gather those things up and then get back over to your stronghold. If you haven't yet, uh, bring a bed uh, with you to your stronghold so you can set your spawn inside of that thing. I actually already have a bed waiting for me over there. We left it there last episode, so I'm set. I, I think I have everything that I need. Uh, I hope. <laughs> I'm kind of a little nervous, guys. I, I have fought the Ender Dragon before, but it's it's been a while, and combat is just not my strong point. Not at all. Um, yeah. Now, while we head over to the Stronghold, let's talk about the Dragon Fight. The dragon fight consists of really two main phases. Phase 1 is taking out all of the health regen crystal things, and then phase 2 is actually killing the dragon. Once we get into the end, we'll be plopped on a platform, we'll probably need to make a bridge over to the main island, and then we need to shoot out these things called end crystals that sit on top of giant obsidian pillars, basically. Uh, now we can shoot these things out from the ground with our bow if we have a decent shot, or we can tower up the things and manually remove them from the world, like we could punch them. It's a little dangerous, but you can do that. After that, the dragon will fly around, as we'll see, and uh, we need to shoot it with as many arrows as possible, and then swing our sword at it when it lands down in the middle of the world, or in the middle of the end island, not, not really the world. So that's really the, the plan for the fight. Um, we're, we'll set our spawn here again, and... Oh, oh, did I leave them here? I I hope I did. Yes, I did. Okay, oh. Oh, well, well, we have enough. We have enough. We need to turn the end portal on. So if your end portal is like mine and not on, uh, do this. Um, don't fall in the lava, too. Uh... Something like that should happen. Lots of noise, and... Um, then... We should be good uh, to put these away. We don't really need those. Uh, bring our sword with us. Uh, we could bring extra blocks. Blocks never hurt. And I think it's time. Really quick, I'm wearing a pumpkin helmet. So what is that? Well, if you put a carved pumpkin on your head, uh, Endermen won't get mad at you. You can stare at them all you want, and they just won't care. They can't see your eyes, so really you're good. And I am using a texture pack to remove the pumpkin blur. I am wearing the pumpkin helmet because of two reasons. Combat, um, yeah, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm not a brave warrior. Um, and then two, so we can focus on the dragon and, and actually deal with the fight. If I want to be annoyed by Enderman, uh, I'll come back after the fight. But uh, once you turn your portal on, go ahead and jump over into the end dimension. You should get an advancement. Oh, this is a terrible spawn. This is a terrible spawn. Now, um, after entering the end, you need to get over to your main island. And this is rough. This is the worst end spawn I have ever received. Uh, down below us is the void. There is nothing in the void. Um, if we fall, we will lose all of our things. 100%. So... Uh, I am just gonna keep going. Just gonna keep going. You could bring Ender Pearls if you want, and you could Pearl over to the End Island, or you can do what I'm doing and make a bridge. Just, just keep bridging, keep going. Eventually, you, you'll hit the island, um, <laughs> and you'll be safe, uh, like me. Uh, 
Oh, this is scary. Um, <laughs> uh, that's a really, really rough end spawn. Uh, once we, once we beat the dragon, we are going to fix that for sure. Um, not a huge fan of that. Uh, now we are over on the main end island here. The dragon is that noisy thing that's going to shoot at me, um, and uh, we really just need to avoid it. While the dragon is flying around, we need to shoot out those things. Those are end crystals. They give the dragon its health back, so we need to really just run around and try and shoot these things out. Most of these can be shot without uh, any need of climbing, but some of them are in cages. If the crystals are in cages, we'll need to climb up there and take some of the cage out. So, uh, a little dangerous, but um, doable. Let's go ahead and try it right now. Uh, this is a weird pillar, too. Um... They're meant to have a little more obsidian. <laughs> I don't know if this is a 1.14 thing or, or what, but uh, the end seems a little weird. Uh, at, at least to me. Uh, we need these blocks back. We kind of ran out. I only took two stacks, really. Uh, but once you poke a hole in the cage, you can totally jump down and turn around and shoot it. Boom. There we go. That's good. This is Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath is breath from the dragon. If I brought um, potion bottles, I could pick it up and keep it. Um, and it will hurt you like for every second you stand in it. You'll take damage. So uh, Don't stand in it um, Did I get that thing? I think it's no, it's still up there. Okay uh, Hmm now crossbows are a little better than bows in my uh, in my experience in the end here with crossbows You can charge up your shot and run around and um, oh no a little more a little more uh, with crossbows Yeah, you can charge up your shot move around uh, dodge the dragon things like that and then, um, sh oh, oh no, oh no, world leg. <laughs> uh, you can charge up your shot and, and yeah, shoot things. Um, now, big tip with the end fight is to stay near the middle of the island. Uh, I haven't had any, um, you know, run-ins with the dragon yet, but the dragon will do charge attacks and, um, and try and hit you. And if you get hit, you'll get thrown. And if you're thrown, you can um, uh, fall into the void. You know, that place that I mentioned, um, <laughs> where, uh, you lose all of your things. Yeah, that thing. Um, yeah. Now, really, in phase one, uh, which is what we're in right now, you just ignore the dragon. Just avoid, ignore, and blow up the crystals. Every single crystal needs to be gone, or the dragon's health, uh, the bar at the top, will continuously refill. Um, I can't tell if we have them all or not. I, I think we do. After you shoot out all of those crystals, it's time to attack the dragon. But uh, you can't shoot it. If the dragon's in the middle and you shoot your, your bow... Oh, no, we do have more. Um, if the dragon's in the middle and you try and shoot it well, like with a ranged weapon, nothing will happen. Y you need to go and run up and hit it uh, like melee style. Aha, there we go. Okay, that's gone. So do we have all of them? I think we do. I think we're good to start uh, shooting at the dragon and killing it. Um, now, a little side note, random thing here. You always, always, always keep a water bucket on your hotbar. If the dragon were to hit me and send me way up into the air, I could place the water down on the ground right before I land and negate all of the fall damage, which is, is definitely good. Um, but the dragon's not even charging at me, so... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, don't, don't do that. Don't get hit by your own shots. Um... Yeah, I don't know why it's not charging at me, uh, but I, I don't mind it. <laughs> um, uh, what is it doing? <laughs> what is the dragon even doing? It's circling. Um, okay. Hmm. Now, in, in all honesty, even on hard difficulty, the Ender Dragon fight is not that tough. Uh, if you get lucky like me and you have a dragon that just does not care then it's really just a game of patience, trying to hit a moving target, and then swinging your sword at it once it lands. Hopefully the dragon will land soon. That's when we can really get a lot of damage in, I think, because uh, our sword is fairly fairly good. Um, and my shot is <laughs> um, fairly not good. I think, I think that's a good way to put it. Uh, not the best shot in the world here. Um, what is it doing? Is it landing? I think it's trying to land. Um... Yeah, I think it's trying to land. Um, <laughs> I am not too sure, but once the dragon... Will, oh, oh, careful. Uh, yeah, the, the dragon will hit you. Um, once it lands, uh, you want to... Huh? 
Uh huh. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I don't know if that was more lag or. There we go. I th it must have been lag. Um. Huh. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, guys. Um. I've never seen that. Uh. Huh. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is what I mean. Uh, oh, I missed it. <laughs> uh, I have feather falling in my boots, but yeah, if it hits you, the dragon, um, you got to be careful. Very, very careful. Um, yeah, that's dangerous. That took a lot of my health away. Um, let's just run around and um, keep our eye on the dragon. We need to fill up our health. Um, uh, that's scary. Uh, very scary. Uh, huh? <laughs> but the big thing that I really would like to put some emphasis on is where I'm standing. I'm staying near the middle of the sand island just in case. Uh, the dragon can hit you, as you guys saw, and, and throw you up into the air, and you can be thrown very far. If you're near the, uh, the edge of the end island, then um, bad things could happen. You could get thrown way off, and, and it would just be bad. Uh, but I, I think the dragon's trying to land again, uh, so let's see if we can... Uh, land anything on it. I don't know what it's doing. Um, <laughs> that's really weird. I have uh, quite an odd island. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, come back in for some uh, attacks. We've got to watch out for the dragon's breath, though, definitely. And if we can jump and land crits like this, uh, we'll do... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not... Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, that's the, the whole flying thing. I think we can get back in there, though, and and get our stuff. Um, we just have to not look at Enderman. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> um, oh, no. I didn't make a staircase. I didn't make a staircase here. Uh, we're going to have to do this. Uh, thankfully, we have a good spawn. Always make a staircase, guys. Always, always, always make a staircase. And, uh, <laughs> um, don't, don't get killed. Uh, I think that's the second death in our world. That's, that's not too bad. Um, that was scary. That was very scary. I, I don't think I've ever been thrown up so high in the world. Um, and I don't know if I want to go back over there, but I, I think I need to. I don't really have much of an option. Um, I think we just need to, uh... I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's like glitching. Um, I think we can stand back here and just do this, actually. Um, all right. I'll well, see you, dragon. Uh, <laughs> I think that's going to be the way to end our fight um, with the dragon here, uh, with the bow, uh, because it's flying is odd. Um, there we go. Uh, two more. Uh, no, one more. Uh, come back here. All right. Well, here we go, guys. Here is the end. Uh, like that. That is how you free the end, you beat the dragon, and one death, hard difficulty, I don't know, that's not bad, but uh, that is the end. After that, uh, you'll get like 70 levels worth of experience dropped on the ground, uh, you pick it up if you want, uh, which I definitely do, and... Uh, then we have this thing right here, the dragon egg. We definitely want the dragon egg. So uh, we punch it once and it will teleport around. Uh, so here it is now. Now to pick up the dragon egg, really, really easy. All you need is a pickaxe and a torch. Uh, under the dragon egg uh, goes a torch like that. And then uh, boom, dragon egg is mine. There's one dragon egg in your world, so don't lose it. Um, we will definitely put it somewhere safe. And we now have one of those. That is a portal off to uh, more of the end, which we will definitely be coming back and checking out. And the dragon is gone f forever, kind of, until we spawn it back. So now we don't need to worry about it. We can come to the end in peace, uh, kind of. Um, we still have this terrifying spawn out there. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that's all about. Um, but uh, that is, I think, I think a decent fight. Not bad. This stuff is endstone. Endstone's pretty cool. And then everyone around me, those guys, those are endermen. So now we can set up one of those poor men endermen farms and sit under it and collect up ender pearls if we wanted to. I I think I'm going to do that just for a little bit. I, I like the idea of having ender pearls. So 
Uh, what we want to do is pull that off, uh, stare at some of these guys, and bring them over here, and just kill them. Uh, like this. Nice and easy. Lots of experience. Um, yeah. Now, do I recommend doing this uh, right after you beat the dragon? It's kind of up to you. The dragon is the big dangerous thing in the end. If you have food, if you have armor, um, then you can probably do this. If you don't have food or, or armor, then maybe uh, don't start Enderman hunting right away. Uh, just just wait for a little while. Um, but I think I'm fine. Uh, come on over here. Uh, but let's go ahead and I think exit the end. After you exit the end, uh, the end credits will play. The credits are actually, like, pretty long. I think, if I can remember, they're, like, 10 minutes, maybe 15, maybe 20. They're long credits. So they'll play. Um, you can read them. There's a little story. It's cool. Um, or you can just skip them, like that. After skipping them, you'll be put right back into the overworld, uh, wherever your spawn is set. So for me, right here, um, where I slept last. Uh, but now we are free to, to re-enter the end as much as we want, and... Um, a exit, come and go, and I, I think that's it. I, I don't think I have to mention anything else. So, let's go ahead and let's move back over to our base. Um, but let's bring our map and all of this stuff. We don't really need to leave that here. Um, it's probably better off. Oh, I forgot about the golden apple. Golden apples are really good for end fights. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just bring all of this, well, as much as we can back over to our base and yeah oh no it's nighttime yep 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 we're just gonna run we're gonna go i've had enough fighting for today um how is the armor doing uh, the chest plate's okay it needs some healing uh let's get out of here this ocean that we live by looks even more stunning at nighttime i think like seriously with all of the the light under the water I, I think I need to preserve this part of the ocean. If we need coral ever, which we will want some very soon, I definitely... Oh, hey, a drowned. Ah, let's try this. Uh, can we get a trident too? Uh, a trident? Uh, trident? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, we uh, got something pretty cool. Um, uh, that's a nice way to celebrate the end. Uh, that's a trident. Oh, we'll have to talk about those soon. We'll need to build this trident up a little more. We need, like, mending on it to heal it up, but uh, that's not bad. That's not a bad way to, to end the end episode, right? So, our dragon egg will stay safe in the valuables chest for now, as will the trident. Trident needs to stay here. Um, the map can go back in here, and then everything else, honestly... Uh, can just be thrown into these random chests. We will absolutely be getting on a storage room very, very soon because uh, my stuff is too crazy. We'll, we'll maybe do a house or something too. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know if, if I like the sounds of the word house though. Maybe not. Um, I don't know. I, I like the wagon. Now, I have one final thing that I'd like to do before I end the episode and it is insanely random. I promise you guys. Like, uh, definitely not the normal thing to do after you beat the end, but we are actually going to go back over to the Grand Library and add in a, a story, or, or at least I am. The, it'll be mainly off-camera stuff, but I'd, I'd like to get a little bit of progression in here um, so we uh, can start next episode in a better place. Uh, I plan on doing this next time. So, uh, the floor. Now, this is what I'm thinking. I, I think we have the, the oak wood, you know, down low, and then... I, I think it could be really cool to do a whole balcony all the way around this thing um, with oak wood. So this balcony should be, I think, um, one, two, well, this is four, so that would be five, six, maybe seven. Maybe seven out. Um, let's see what that would be uh, from over here. Uh, one. So that would leave us that much of an opening. I, I think that's good. So, why did I hear a creeper? I heard a creeper. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in really quick. Um, just, just finish this up and then uh, come into the daytime and end of the episode. Okay, balcony is in, but I, I went with five on the front and then seven on the back. But we have a problem. This floor two connects on the dome. So this will probably have to get changed to five. Um, but for now, I'm leaving it. Um, and that is an okay spot for now.
Comment of the day, episode 35. This comment was left by Ripjaw687. The comment was, Hey Waddles, are you planning on permanently making this a series and consistently making episodes on this world like other MC YouTubers have? That is an interesting question, and I thought a fitting one for this episode. So, uh, the series doesn't end today. It's not the end or anything like that. Um, and the series doesn't really necessarily end soon. I, I think I'll keep making um, episodes and, and videos and projects in this world as long as I'm having fun with it. And I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, also, I, oh, there's, there's a patrol. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, I know this is off topic, but uh, let's go ahead and kill this. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, I am planning on, um, keeping this series alive for now, and, um, oh, there's a lot of them. Why are there so many? Um, I hope they don't ruin my chest plate. Uh, we're just gonna take that off. Um, <laughs> I will keep making, um, videos in this series for a while, uh, for as long as you guys are liking it, for as long as I'm liking it, and... Um, yeah, um, for the time being, um, it, it will be a thing. I plan on doing a lot of things, so I don't think it'll end anytime soon. Um, there's the answer. Long, but, but short. Um, yeah. Well, we have a brand new banner, and, uh, and in effect, maybe we'll have to take care of that next episode. I don't know yet. Um, I really would like to work on the library. But, uh, I think that is just about it for today's episode of the Minecraft Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe, um, Patreon for early videos, and... Um, that was the dragon fight. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Porcupine Waddles, signing off.